Hey everybody, once again we're working on the Toro Recycler. This one has a Tecumseh engine in it and G Jr. was starting it up and the cord broke. So it might have broken at the very end because this cord is still very long. So we are going to attempt to put the old cord back in. So first thing we need to do is take out this plastic shield. It's got quarter inch bolt here, 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 and here, but actually that one's been replaced. It's a 5 16 So I'm going to get G Jr. take that off and we'll come right back. All right, we got the top shield off. We just set the bolts there to keep them out of the way. So this is a lot easier than the old ones. The old ones, you had to take this whole tin piece out to get to the pull core or the pull starter. This one here, you have another quarter inch headed bolt here and another one over here. You take those two out and then this piece will slide up. And you can see right here, there is the original knot of the pull cord. So hopefully a lot of the pull cord didn't break and we'll be able to reuse this. We need to go get a lighter and we need to melt this down. Actually, we'll probably cut it first and then melt this down. So he's almost got the last bolt out. All right. So now he's got the last bolt out. Now, of course, this points back. So just remember that. So now this just lifts off. And there we go. There's the bottom of the pull star. Let's see how much cord is left. It's coming. I can't get my... There we go. It broke at the very end. So we're only going to be missing... That is roughly two inches. We're going to be missing two inches of pull cord, which should be fine. Let me go get a lighter and melt this, and we'll wind this back up, and we'll get the cord reinstalled. So I got a uh, barbecue lighter, and we're just going to go ahead and melt the end a little bit. Now, I got pretty tough hands, so... I can do this without getting burned. Some people cannot do this without getting burned. So now the next problem is, is this pull cord, this hole is very small. And if you don't have this lined up perfectly, see that doesn't, won't even fit in there. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we might have, we're gonna have to take the other end apart. We're gonna have to take this end apart and untie the knot. And then when we do this, we're gonna have to feed the cord back through this way because we'll never get the cord feed it back in this way. So let me uh, get the cord straightened out and we'll come back. So actually on this one what I did is I recut this at an angle and then remelted it because this is like almost the exact same size as the hole. But I think we're going to be able to get it through the way it was. So you hold that. So here's the pull starter. And what you want to do is you want to start spinning it counterclockwise to wind the spring back up. Three, four, five. Let's try six. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and put this in and we're going to get it through. Now I'm just going to pull it through and I'm going to go ahead and let this thing wind up and see if I have it, have it spun up enough. And see, I have too much cord hanging out, so I did not spin it up enough. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back out. I'm going to go ahead and pull it back out and give it a couple more twists. That was seven, so there's eight, nine, ten. There's ten, and let's bring the hole back around. All right, and have it. And... Oh, wow, look at that. You see that? That's unbelievable. So now we'll let this wind back up. Okay, that looks more than enough because it hooks up to the handle. So now what we'll do is we need to tie a knot in this. Here, go ahead and pull the cord. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Keep going a little bit more. Okay, so I had him pull on the cord so I could get extra cordage out. Come on, baby. There we go. So now I pulled it through farther. 
so I can go ahead and tie a knot in this. This cord is really, really stiff nylon. I usually like taking and melting these with a lighter just to make it stick really good, but I don't think we're going to need to. I think that's good enough. So let's go ahead, pull, go ahead and pull out on the cord. Pull out on the cord. Yep, keep going, keep going. Okay, there we go. Uh, do we have a pair of diagonal cutters? Where are the diagonal cutters? I'm going to go ahead and trim this little piece off. All right, here comes the diagonal cutters. We're just going to cut this piece off just a little bit. There we go. Now let that go back in. And there you go. That's how you install the cord back in a pull start on a Tecumseh 2005. All right, everybody. Well, now all you have to do is put it back together. This hat goes back. This hat goes back on in this direction here. Put your bolt in here. Put your bolt in here. Pull the cord. Hook it back up into your handle. Put the red piece on. And we're done pretty much. Let's go ahead and put it all back together and make sure it starts. So, we have a problem. This is the cover that goes back on. The problem is, is the pull cord has to go through this little hole here. And this big plastic pull start won't fit through it. So what we're going to have to do now is this metal piece pries out with a screwdriver and it should be tied in here with a knot. We're going to have to untie the knot or cut the cord and make it a little bit shorter. So let's get a screwdriver. Let's just set this on the ground out of the way. So we're going to have to take a screwdriver and we're going to have to pry this out. And now see, the cord is tied in a knot there. I seriously doubt I'm going to be able to get that untied. We'll just cut it. Let me go get the diagonal cutter. Which are right over here. So make sure it doesn't, ooh, I almost lost it. Man, is this thing really that hard to pull over? Or do you have to pull the thing, pull the thing? There we go, all right. All right. So now, come on cord. We can put the cord through there to put that back together. But before we do that, we are gonna get all this back together. Where'd the metal piece go? Oh, there it is. All right, we're not, I'm not gonna be able to get this in here. Let me have the lighter. Let me see if I can get this thing cooked down enough. I used a razor blade on the other end to get it that nice angle. So you might, I might have to do the same thing on here. Now I got it. All right, so now we're through. Another knot. The knot slides into the metal piece. Pull on it real good. Now the metal piece just flips in there and now we can go ahead and pull the handle and pull the motor over real slow to get that hooked back in there oh and I meant to forgot to tell you all you have to take the dipstick tube out 
to get the first plastic cover. All right, we need to get the last four bolts in and we'll get it off the bench and still make sure that it starts. All right, we're all together. We've pressed the primer bulb like five times. All right, give it a start. All right. All right, everybody. That's how you put a pull cord back in a Toro recycler with a Tecumseh engine about a 2005. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that right over there in that corner, and we'll all talk to you later. Thank you.